hello guys hope you are doing well uh, in this video we are going to learn about forget password it's basically going to be a very small video because uh, forget about is not a very big uh, functionality that we will be going to achieve but it is kind of <coughs> feature that every app have so basically let's start with our auth controller I'm going to close all the methods and going to create one void uh, forget password. This is the name of the uh, method and it basically expect string email. <coughs> and inside that method we will be going to call uh, another function from the auth object. It's auth dot send password reset email this is the function that we will be using and this is our friendly function and it expect only email once it's done successfully then dot then method will be called here we will show a user a prompt that yeah we have sent forgot email link to your email right sorry not forgot email it's forgot password uh, let's uh, show one snack bar get dot snack bar title uh, email sent we have sent password reset email that's it guys now in case of error if there is error in the sending email so you will print it or out here error in sending password reset email is dot in <coughs> and yeah guys we are done with this now let's call it from the view i'm going to search yeah i found it very quickly forgot password over here so once user tap on this we will be showing him a dialog get dot default dialog right we have title so I'm going to give forget password and another content Sorry. content will expect column and here we have to create a widget for the password so as I have already created uh, my reusable component so I just going to call it my text field right and it expect boolean so boolean mean whether the text will be showing or not so in my case i want to show the text so i'm going to call it false because it's off secure and another thing is hint text and in case of text i will uh, i will give him a hint enter your email right now controller so in case of controller i'm going to create another controller forget email controller let's create it <coughs> text editing controller and now text editing controller we have created a controller assign it to the custom text field uh, maybe we are missing some information icon so yeah in case of icon i'm going to copy from this to the to this right now let's give it a little bit padding from around padding child so from left to right it should have a little bit padding 
dot symmetric horizontal is let's give it 15 all right and again we have to create uh, one text uh, one button for performing the action so size box height of 10 and one material button right with a child text sent so the width will be full available width double dot infinity and background color now let's give it a color color should be color start leave or well, let's copy the same color where is the color 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 so okay i think blue is okay it is taking time to search for color now auth controller dot forget password and we have to oh sorry yeah, yeah. forget email controller dot text and dot trim right so as i have already told you that if it is successful then it will show email sent and if it is error then it will print an error message but once it's successful we have to close the dialog how we can close the dialog is by using get dot back now let's try to create one email sorry not email now let's try to create one valid account uh, it's let's use seven and six and gmail dot com. That's my personal email, and I'm going to give it a six digits password one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? I'm going to click on sign up. The account is created and directed toward create profile. So let's restart it again. So I just click on forget and I will show you that I get a forget uh, link. Now let's click on get started and forget password. My email is Koreshi. Oh, sorry, I have used log, but it should be email. Email icon Koreshi Osama 796 at gmail.com. What? <laughs> something is crazy so we have to give it a particular width and height we have to wrap this with a container Hopefully this time it will not work unexpected. Yeah, let me remove it. Make sure you sum up seven nine six add gmail. Oh, again, so I think we have to remove this icon. Also, let's try to uh, let's remain remain the icon and uh, let's try to reduce padding from five. Mm. 
gmail.com it is getting hired because of don't have space to the next right i think i have to remove the padding you guys can see that no one is perfect at all in the field of programming so basically its nature is something like that we have to learn by doing dot com so yeah guys got it now let's click on send button and see the logs uh -huh, send we have sent password to set email so this means we have successfully uh, done with our code now let's open my favorite web browser safari and let's move toward the gmail yeah guys you can see it is saying that reset your password for project blah 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 right it is saying this is the email that you will be using for for getting or recovering your password so yeah guys uh, that's it i hope you guys have enjoyed this video uh, please subscribe if you have not subscribed yet and share this kind of videos with your friends and with the ones who want to learn flutter but especially the back end of the flutter right uh, by the way thanks for watching